Day 42. I think I'm going to cut my nails today. I broke two. And I'm loving the freedom of the lack of nails <laughs> where I broke. So um, I'm proud that I lasted this long. But they need to go. And as much as I enjoy them and it's kind of fun. Um, I'm, I'm, there's a reason besides that I didn't grow my nails even before I got in the industry that I did. Yep. And I'm done. I'm done. The experiment has happened. I'm done. Bye, the nails. So it's mid-afternoon and I've discovered I apparently don't know how to dress. Yep, that is exactly what it looks like. The tag that's supposed to go on the back of my pants, on the front of my pants. I wish I could say it's due to, you know, 40 plus days staying at home, but it's not because I've done that before and worn them to work. And it was the coworker that noticed. <laughs> so, yep. <laughs> And did I already mention it's mid-afternoon and I'm just noticing now? And I did get up and exercise at about 10, 10.30, and which means I changed out of my exercise and clothes, so was clothes around 11, 11.30. So they've been backwards for quite a few hours now. Cool. How's the, how are, is everybody else doing? <laughs> so even though tomorrow is... Sorry, done in the. There we go. Uh, even though tomorrow is hashtag takeout day, <laughs> um, I had a craving and I just couldn't wait till tomorrow. So, this is one of my favorite pizza places here in town. Um, it's just, it's so. Like, they actually cook it in a wood oven. Not a wood. Okay, it's probably not a wood oven, but, you know, like when you go into uh, pizza places and it's like the big stone I guess that's probably a stone oven and oh ironically no pizzas in here it's um well I'll show you but it's it's one of my favorite you know not that many toppings very authentic my uncle is um has Italian heritage and I took him uh, here one year and he just said about how it tasted like home it tasted like all I needed was like a big glass of nice some sort of red wine, some sort of red wine, and it would have been perfect. So, um, yeah, it's it's awesome. Super, super excited. Okay, this is one of my favorite Caesar salads, and I I used to write a book on different Caesar salads in different restaurants, different places that I went. I have not written this one down. I should do that, see if I can find that book somewhere, um, and actually rate the Caesar salads. And this is definitely one of my favorite here in town. So awesome. Yum! So I just found out that they're hosting one of those lockdown, anti-lockdown protests in my city this week. Idiots. Is it, am I a bad person that I want the rain, the sky to open up and to just like thunder and lightning and like major pouring rain like non-stop well not non-stop I don't want it to flood because then that would be defeating the purpose but you know like just like tons of rain at that moment like that day and that like just pour just oh make it the make it so miserable for anybody to be there stupid Stupid idiots. Stupid idiots. I mean, we're pretty lucky. We don't have a huge um, confirmed amount of cases in the area, considering how big the area is. But we don't have none. But we don't have none. We don't, definitely don't have none in this city. So, like, seriously, pissed off pissed off. I'm debating and I live pretty close to a, like a route that 
people might be taking to where the protest is being located. Located. I'm seriously tempted to put huge signs saying that if you're going to the protest, go the fuck home. So tempted because seriously, it's like it's getting to the point where people not listening and acting like fucking children is painful. Because I live alone and I'm still struggling, grieving the loss of my mom. And I can't, and I have to do that by myself. And the longer idiots don't listen, the longer we're gonna have to do this. And the longer I'm gonna be away from my support system. And they also, they're saying mental health. Hey, hey, not helping, <laughs> FYI. <laughs> You're making it longer by not helping. And rec as somebody who has mental health issues, <laughs> like that's just bullshit. 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 So, like, and the other thing, like, I'm one of those people who can't work from home, so I lost my job, so all these people, blah, 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 what about, what about, what about, what about, yeah, mm, no, what, not what about, stay the fuck home, listen to the, prof the, um, professionals who know what they're doing, who went to school for this, who get paid for this, this is their job, this is their knowledge, what, what do you have, like, ugh, People acting like children piss me off. And that's an insult to children. It's an insult. It's, children act better than this. Ugh. Ugh. And I just got a really weird message on Facebook. Unrelated to this. I mean, if it was related to this, then that would be one thing, but it's not. <laughs> This is not good. I'm worked up, and I'm about to go into a virtual Bible study. <laughs> this is not good. <laughs> so not good. Not good. I really hope it's an easy, there's nothing controversial about it. Nope. On the upside, it's very easy to leave a virtual thing. <laughs> <laughs> Except it's like, uh, yep, yeah, gotta go. Bye. <laughs> Ugh. I don't know. I don't know. Luckily, nothing controversial. So we're good. It's been that kind of day. Yep. I think I need to retry dating websites. I think I need to take advantage of the fact that I'm stuck in here alone and dating websites are gonna be the only way I'm gonna meet anybody. No, I, I clearly, cause clearly I need, I need, I need, I need some, I need some interaction. <laughs> Even watching it from a phone backwards, it's still like, yes. <laughs> but you don't want that, you don't, you don't need, you know, you don't need to see my reactions. <laughs> Have a good night. Have a good night. I know I will. <laughs>